have been waiting this for ages until this was announced. And I just watched it. The Brockmans are back. After a three year hiatus, the Brockmans are back, ladies and gentlemen. And I do not feel old because, um, because I do not feel old, um, that, um, the Black Number Kid, the Brock, the Brockman kids have grown up. So yeah, I do not feel um um feel old. I feel a little bit old, but yeah. So yeah, welcome guys. It's me, not so funny comedian. Yeah, I've got a really deep voice. <laughs> What up guys, it's me not so funny comedian with me doing a TV Christmas TV review. So yeah, stay tuned, sit back and relax to me of my thoughts of the outnumbered Christmas special A Wonga. Yeah, a little bit there, a little bit that, a little bit Yeah, that's much better. Oh, oh, sorry guys. Yeah. Yes, yes, um, the Brockmans are back, yes mate, the Brockmans are back, Jake, Karen, um, yeah, Jake, Karen, Ben, Pete, um, yeah, yeah, and Mark and Bum as well, like, yeah, Elm Numbers is officially back baby yeah yeah it, it's officially back yes all the Al the Al number crew are back so yeah Sue Pete um Karen Jake and and Ben of course are back for a festive special. Let me tell you the synopsis first. This will include spoilers throughout um, my review, guys. So yeah, if you haven't watched it, go watch it on BBC One. Player. If you didn't watch it on BBC One, so yeah. And it is Boxing Day. The Brockman family have to carry out a special mission for Granddad. They encountered car problems, child problems, parent problems, emotional. Um, Problems and World War Two. If the adults can't sort things out, the children have to. Like all families, everything had to change. Everything remains the same. Yes, all the Bockmans are back. Yeah, all the Bockmans are back. Yes. Um, Kate. Uh, uh, well, um, Jake has got a girlfriend. Well, a new girlfriend, which is Kate. So. Yeah, the Bockmans um, have a car, in the beginning of the episode, the Bockmans have a car crash, which um, they let Ben to drive, whoops, and yeah, and they car crash with a other woman um, called Jill, but she's disabled by the way, um, yeah, but yeah, um, and then Karen, uh, well, um, basically, um, um, Sue had to be horrible, all that, and the kids had to point out, Mum! And I, <laughs> um, yeah, and point out, oh shit, she's disabled. And yeah, it was like, um, yeah, it was so funny in the beginning and that, and really funny. And yeah, and Brian, um, which is played by the wonderful, um, uh, Mark Benton. Um, who has been in Wanted Roads and other stuff as well? He um, said, "Ha ah, yes," um, because of uh, his first customer being um, um, of using the disabled toilet, and so yeah, that was a little work. But yeah, um, but yeah, the Bogmans had to sort out this situation before she has to. Uh, well, Jill had to, what was recording them at first, and then um, pretend to, to have whiplash and then searched it up. Karen um, told, tells um, um, mum and dad um, that um, 
she sets you up and she's been attending her and Disney and so that. And yeah, so Karen had to sort that out and so stole his, her phone and where did you get, did you steal my phone? And so yeah, um, sort that out for the Bachman family. So yeah, yes, and that other problem, um, Ben, um, yeah, Ben is the same as always. <laughs> Ben is, um, I like um, Danny, um, Daniel Walsh um, in Outnumbered, he's funny, he's hilarious, I've watched um, Outnumbered for years now and I w started re-watching it and so yeah, I, f I felt a little bit old that the grown up now, da Danny's just like all muscle now and Tyler's the same and um, Roman is, no, she's a woman now, a little bit, but yeah, um, but yeah, um, yeah, um, yes, um, Ty, um, Jake had, had a little talk with, um, Pete, um, their dad, his dad about, um, Kate, so yeah, Kate, um, well, yeah, Jake getting told, oh, I'm going to dump her like that. And he said, when? After Christmas. On the phone. I was like, why, Jake? Do not do that on the phone, guys. If you guys, boys, um, man to man, don't do it. Don't ju just don't break out and um, break. Um, let the girl know that you break up. Not by text, not by phone, just face to face. But it's a little bit awkward. And that. Uh, but yeah, Pete had to squirt him out, squirt it out, that, oh yeah, um, um, stay in touch, still be in touch, and yeah, and Kate, um, uh, squirted out, oh, he's dumping me, like that, and so yeah, um, Kate, um, had to get her mum involved, of course, Bob's, and yeah, and uh, and yeah, so yeah, the Bookmans had a mission. So uh, yeah, I told a little bit of the plot line and that. So yeah, the Bookmans had a mission of um four um four granddads um his ashes and so um Sue had the mission with the kids as well. The kids had to come and that. So yeah, um Sue had a mission to spread the ashes where her dad had his favourite place and um can't remember what, what it was but it was when they met um met her met his met their her mum so yeah um but yeah it was funny emotional and brilliant at the same time really really enjoyed outnumbered I'm glad it back I want more specials I like I would like a Christmas special every year, a Easter special every year, but I know I've got plans, Danny, Danny's doing um, um, Danny's doing um, rugby, don't know what his woman's doing now, um, probably school, and Tiger's written out his own sitcom, good on you Tiger, thumbs up to you, hope he gets picked up, I would like to see that, sign me up, um, yeah, but yeah, I'm up, uh, it's been on a three year hiatus, does it need to be returned? Yes, it does. I know um, they're all grown up, but it would love to be, they come back every year, once a year, um, how the Brooklyn's um, come back, get along and that. But yeah, it was really sad when um, Pete and Sue find out that, um, that, Jake is going, um, got a job in New Zealand, which was shocked, um, from, um, Sue and Pete, um, that his son, their older son is leaving them and stuck with Karen and, um, um, Ben. But yeah, Karen was key point out, yeah, not, um, the cool one. And Ben's like, what? What? Uh, yeah, but I feel sorry for Ben when Karen has. Um, I I feel sorry for Ben. He he has to put up with a 
snobby teenager like that. But yeah, it's Cameron. It's Cameron. But yeah. But yeah, it was a really, really good episode. It was a really, really festive Christmas episode. That's what I like on a Christmas Boxing Day. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It was fantastic and amazing. I loved how they got there. And they let Ben drive again. Okay. And But yeah, and they had to get to the bench and at the end, and found out in the bench JD's a slag. Which was funny. <laughs> Sorry, JD. Um, but yeah, um, and yeah, it was really, really funny, amazing, and, and emotional at the same time. But I really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the episode. Um, big thumbs up. I'm glad the bookmans are back. I really, really enjoyed it, and amazing at the same time. So, comment down below. Um, um, Please give this a big thumbs up if you and if if you um, enjoyed that the Bookmans are back. Comment down below what was your favourite moment of the Christmas episode and funniest moment throughout the series is as well. And um, I'm gonna give it a nine point four out of ten because it was funny, brilliant, and amazing at the same time. Really, really enjoyed it, and as well, and yeah, where was that Auntie Angela? Oh yeah, in the mail car, of course. But so yeah, I give it 9.5 out of 10. Give this a big thumbs up. Keep on subscribing to my channel, guys, for more TV reviews like this, and see you soon for more epic videos like this. Bye, guys. The book was back. Yeah, boy. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh yeah, and subscribe for more um, TV review reviews like this and give this a big thumbs up if you like if you want the Bookmans to return for another um, six, part, six part six part series or fe or um, festive specials um, or festive specials so yeah hope you enjoy this review guys and see you soon bye guys so yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed my review of the best Christmas special of Outlaw Mode guys. Click here to subscribe for more TV reviews like this and click here for um, a random uh, um, playlist video, uh, um, video guys. See you soon for more TV reviews. Bye guys.